Thanks to the arrival of new AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, codename Vermeer, many people will be buying motherboards with BIOSes which don't support them. This is caused by a time gap between the production of the motherboard and its delivery to you because this process can take even several months. Thankfully, ASRock X570 Creator allows updating the BIOS even without CPU present, which is a great time saver. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. What you'll need is a case, power supply with a cable with 24 pin connector, the motherboard of course, flash drive, and a PC with internet connection. But before we begin, let's first check out what version of BIOS you have now. The motherboard has a small sticker with the number of its version of BIOS with which it was shipped. It's located here, so you know immediately which version you have. In my case, it's P130. This version is the oldest and it doesn't support AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. So let's begin with the preparation of the flash drive. The first thing I'm going to do is to insert flash drive into the USB port. If you have Windows 10 installed, the notification shows up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. In my case, it says Drive G. Now I'll open the file explorer and there I'll right click with my mouse on the flash drive. I'll select format because I want to know if my drive is formatted to FAT32 file system, which is required by the motherboard for BIOS update. As you see, this small window shows up, so I'll zoom in. In the file system section, it says XFAT. This means that I'll need to format my flash drive because FAT32 file system is required. Little warning here. At this point, make sure you don't have any valuable data on your flash drive and if you do, back them up before continuing. Formatting the drive would erase them. When I click into file system section, it shows me three options. I'll select the default one, FAT32. Then I'll make sure quick format option is selected. It is. And now I'll click the start button to format the drive. It warns me that all data will be erased and disk will be formatted, which is what I want, so I'll confirm it by clicking OK. It's really quick, it takes about a second, so I'll click at OK. Flash disk is prepared, so now I'll close all open windows and leave the flash drive in the USB port. Now it's time to download the BIOS. I'll start Edge Browser. It's part of Windows, so everyone should have it. Then I'll type www.azrock.com into address bar and press enter. Here I'll go to products section. Then motherboards. I'll scroll down a little bit and select AMD AM4 socket from the left menu, because that's our socket. I can already see the motherboard. So I'll click on its picture and here I'll go to support and then to the BIOS section. It shows me all available versions of BIOSes. I always want the latest one because it is usually the one which has improved compatibility with CPUs, in our case Ryzen 5000, extended supported memory and fixed issues from previous versions. At the time of making this video, the latest version of BIOS is 3.13, so I'll download it. I'm not located in China, so I'll click at Global. Download was quick, because the file is small, it has close to 14 MB. Your download speed will vary based on how fast internet connection you have. When we look at the left hand corner of the screen, we can see that the zip file was downloaded. It will download to directory on your hard drive based on how you had it set in your browser. Just in case you used a different browser. Now I'll click on three dots and select open. Which will open the zip file in Windows File Explorer. 
I'll close the browser window, we won't need it anymore. The content of zip file is visible. It says x 570 CTR 3.13. X570 signifies the chipset, CTR probably creator, and 3.13 is the version of the BIOS. Now I'll drag it directly to my flash drive, and because it's empty, it will be extracted into its root directory. It's also quick, speed will be mostly dependent on the write speed of your flash drive. When I click on the flash drive, I can see that it's there unpacked and that it has 32 megabytes. I'll right click on it and select rename from the menu. It will allow me to edit its name, so I'll type in creative.rom with small letters as it's written in the motherboard manual and then I'll press enter. Windows warning will pop up because it's not a common file extension. But we know what we're doing, so I'll click on yes to confirm it. Now I'll left click on the drive letter just to see that the file is there, renamed and that everything is ready. It is. So now I'll right click on it and select eject from the menu. Now I can unplug the flash drive from my computer. The flash drive is ready for our BIOS update. The first thing I'm going to do is to take this 24 pin power supply cable and plug it into this main ATX power supply connector on the motherboard. Now I'll plug the power cord into the power supply. Then I'll turn on electricity. And finally I'll turn on the power supply. Now I'll plug the flash drive with the BIOS into the USB flashback port. Make sure it's plugged in properly. And then I'll press and hold the flashback button for 3 seconds. As you see, the LED started blinking, so I'll leave it running until the blinking stops. As you see, the blinking stopped, which means that the BIOS is updated, so now I can remove the flash drive. I can confirm that updating from the oldest version of BIOS 1.3 to the newest one, 3.13, was without any issues. The first time you boot up with it, be prepared that it may restart automatically, because it will adjust new BIOS to the memory modules. And the last tip, also after boot up, make sure to set the chipset fan speed to custom profile for optimal speed and noise. Now you can enjoy your Ryzen 5000 CPU with this motherboard. And for me, that's it. So thank you for watching and see you in another video.